hello guys welcome back again so today we are going to be looking at the scissors too previously we've looked at the eraser too we've looked at the knife too right now we're going to be talking about scissors all right still the same cutting happens here but these two have their own uniqueness let me kind of refresh your memory on some differences that the eraser tool and the knife tool has so if i have this selected and i get my eraser tool let me decrease the size by using the square bracket if I draw a line from this point to this point, you could see that it kind of removes this path and I have this remaining portion up and then this larger portion down. But if I use the knife too, I will only cut a part but not erase the entirety of that part, all right? So if I cut a line like this, you could see I've made a division between this part and this part, but the razor tool kind of removes some certain part to resolve the differences but knife doesn't do that and again in this too you could see that if i have my outline stroke it still kind of captures everything my outline stroke for the light still also captures everything but in the scissors too i have to select two points but then i will have to trade some portion of the stroke let's see how this happens so i will right click on this and i'll get my scissors too let me pick this point and then pick this other point now let's check if I still have my outline all around. When I click on the outline, you can see my outline is only at the border, but not where the division actually happened, right? So in case you are creating something and you want your stroke to be affected, direction of the path, you can actually use your scissors tool to achieve that. Let's do this again. Let me try the scissors tool here. You can see it just continues cutting the object continue cutting if i click on that place it continues cutting click on that place it continues cutting but remember the stroke will never be found in the inner region it will only be on the outside let me use this color use this color let me use this color oh, why not black yeah so you can see so this is these are just the major differences amongst the eraser two, knife two, and the scissors two. So depending on whatever you want to create, depending on the kind of path that you want to shot, you can now decide on the two to actually use. Let's say do some more example on the scissors two. Like I told you, you can just subdivide this into two different work. Let me get the scissors two here. Let me click at this point and then click on this point. Now I've separated this two work. <laughs> if I do that, let me also do it for the one on top get this point and get this point so these two are now separated see that it's now separated now let me do it for this you can see now i have the stroke all around this shape but let's see what happens I'm gonna click at this point and then click on this point I'm gonna click at this point and also click at this point so let everything Put in my shift key you can see the stroke didn't follow through here all right see you in the next video